Heart Month on Ireland AM. Brought to you by the Irish Heart Foundation. Now, as part of Heart Health Month, Ireland AM viewer Louise Evans has taken on a challenge to become healthier in every aspect of her life. Now, food plays a, a key role in keeping your body fit and functioning properly. So, this week, we're looking at Louise's diet to see where improvements can be made. This week, nutritionist Sinead Shanley travelled to Wexford to have a look at Louise's eating habits and to discuss where improvements could be made. OK, Louise, we had the bloods checked last week. So one of the things that kind of came out was the BMI was raised. Yeah. And BMI is a, very, it's a terminology that's used to say, for my height, what weight would I ideally be? keep all my risk factors for, for disease low, specifically heart disease, okay? One of the things that we want to focus on, I suppose, try to get our weight down by about 5%, okay? So 5% loss of body weight has huge benefits in terms of reducing your risk factors for heart disease and stroke. So you'll see real health benefits in trying to get even just a small percentage of weight over this time. It's increments. It's about getting to the ultimate goal kind of gradually. Really what we're going to focus on when we have a look at the foods today is your snacking, your portion size, looking at increasing the amount of fruit and vegetables, and then the kind of empty kilo calories. So that would be the alcohol, the chocolate, chocolate. the biscuits, you know, those kind of things. So a healthy diet for everybody in the family, including Lily. Don't look so worried, Lily. As we move into the kitchen, Sinead identifies three different areas she wants to focus on. We're going to really look at today our fat swaps. We're going to look at our snacks. I'm going to look at portion size. So when we're talking about fats, we're talking about the amount of fats and the type of fats. These are key things. So a couple of weeks ago, you had your cholesterol checked, and we had a whole medical check, and we know that some of the cholesterol was slightly raised, and we definitely want to focus on reducing the bad type of cholesterol. So in order to do that, we need to reduce the amount of saturated fats in the diet. Saturated fats are what raises the bad type of cholesterol. Okay. If you look at the butter, that came up in your food diary, um, and I would suggest that just in terms of reducing the overall saturated fat content, content by about 40% if you switch to a reduced fat spread, okay? So that would be one key area we could focus on. So you need to really focus on having healthy sources of the kind of dairy group. So in that sense, we'd say to use the reduced fat milk over the full fat variety, some of the naturally kind of uh, lower in fat cheeses, so the Greek cheeses, the mozzarella. The key with these for amounts is to use a sprinkling. That's the kind of terminology that you want to do with cheese in order to get the uh, portion control right. And then the other kind of area that we look at is yogurt. So again, really important for healthy bones. Um, but the one thing that you want to do is try to go for a natural or a Greek or plain style yogurt as opposed to one that has kind of fruit already in it. These tend to be very high in the addition of sugar. A good way to check is to just look at the label and the ingredients list and see where the sugar feature. The higher up the list, the more sugar that's in it. Um, and we have our food shopping card, again, and available online that you'll be able to check your food labels. So then if we come on to the snacking. So I think what really kind of showed up in the food diary, and um, I suppose like so many people, is evening time comes. Yeah. Everyone has their go-to food. So it's kind of, yes, it's chocolate. Yeah. And when I assessed uh, the amount of calories <laughs> in the chocolate, was coming out at 1600. Um, wow. Yeah, so well over 90% uh, of your energy requirements, but also your fat and sugar requirements. For so the that's day. a day's food a intake, day intake in one sitting in one sweet. That's now to me a wake up call. One of the messages, Louise, that I'm always talking about to people is try not to focus on what you're not eating, as in not your minstrels, and start to enjoy the foods that mm. you are eating. I think when we move on to our portion sizes here, really that's one of the major issues that we found yeah. in the di in the food Absolutely. diet. Absolutely. So what we need to do is help you rebalance the plate. Okay. Yeah. So it's not to be fatty. It's very very practical. So we're going to focus a little bit now on portion sizes. And so if we just have your dinner plate. And we say to ourselves, okay, Louise, at the moment, there hasn't been a lot of fruit and vegetables. I've spoken to you about the value of having colour, and you can see all the colour here today. So really what you're trying to do is half the plate with some type of vegetable, or if it's lunchtime, some yeah. type of salad, okay? And then on the other, you've got this other half of the plate, and really it's divided in two. 
One is for what we call the kind of energy rich carbohydrate foods and they're really essential in the diet. They provide lots of vitamins but one of the key things they do is they provide fibre and fibre again is one of the magic ingredients for reducing your cholesterol level. If we were to compare that to just the white pasta, the fibre is in here and what's the fibre do? It keeps you fuller for longer. Okay so if we come back then we've got one little other quarter of the plate to fill and this is where we spoke earlier about making sure we have our fresh unprocessed meat. So what we would say is, if you're looking at your meat portions, you take the palm of your hand and the thickness of your hand, and that's a good guideline as to how much meat you should be having for the day. So then if you look at the hand size, you get a hand size portion of fish. So it means then that your kind of plate is full of food, which is really important and that you don't see yourself looking at tiny portions. Yeah. If we were to follow our best practice guidelines, mm -hmm. 11 standard drinks per week is, you know, for women. And that's 1,100 calories. Right. And we're on 1,700 for the day. So okay. that's putting it into perspective for you. And really what it's shown is this was a nice night out with the girls in terms of amount. And this is really... Oh, it smells so lovely. Every measure <laughs> that we it's an absolutely massive difference. And so really 11 of those for the whole week, Sinead? For the whole week okay. is the allowance, okay? So what do you think? Well, like, What do you think of the balance of the plate, this kind of snack options that we spoke about? Yeah. No, I, I mean, I love all food. There's nothing I don't eat. Brilliant. But obviously, looking at me, I eat all the wrong things and too much of it. So now I'm looking forward to changing my diet. So I think what we do is we get started and yeah. then we we'll review. And Great. See how we go. Okay, so nice to new challenges. Okay. Excellent. Tune in next week when Louise joins us in studio and we'll see what a difference a month can make. No, I don't want to say anything or put any pressure on Louise, but I think she's already. Um, it looks to me like yeah. she's already shed. I'd say she's lost a good lot of weight already. Well done, Louise. Indeed, indeed. Well done. Now, coming up after nine, we are going to be crossing back to the national championships for the, wait for it, the ultimate, the brown bread bake-off. Da, da, da. Very tough. There have been family rifts over less. <laughs> uh, we will be chatting to the stars of Love Me Tender, which is on in the Borgasha Theatre this week. All to come. Heart Month on Ireland AM. Brought to you by the Irish Heart Foundation.